Hello Yannick. Hello Katia. How do you see the main technical challenges that the LiDAR ecosystem is currently facing? Lately, we, we observe a shift of the technical concerns in the LiDAR space, moving from a sensing technology development focus to a car integration one. Initially, the main question was about the sensing device itself. Will emerging LiDAR technologies become relevant enough to compete in the automotive sensor market against established alternatives like camera, radar or others? Today, thanks to the tremendous development efforts of multiple innovative startups and or well-established automotive players, it is clear that the LiDAR won its place in the ADA sensor landscape. However, The next interrogation that comes to mind is the integration one. Now that I have a performance sensor, how can I integrate this particular piece of infrared-based high-tech on my car in a functional, reliable and aesthetical way? On top of that, and as a quite logical consequence, the coexistence of LiDAR with the other sensor technology must be addressed in order for each of them to provide the best outputs. This also generates several new challenges aiming to accommodate for various sensor technical specificities and requirements. And how the 2022 wide-eye development activities will help answering those challenges? So glass integration has always been at the center of the wide-eye R&D activities since the very beginning. Therefore, most of the innovative solutions that we already developed are by a sense well suited for those questions. This being said, I see our 2022 R&D roadmap decline around three main axes. First, our very first SOPs are now in sight. Therefore, we need to scale up our technology blocks and transfer them from the lab to the plant in order to achieve mass production scale as required by our customers. At the same time, we need to continue adding new integration-related features in our portfolio when missing to complete our solution offering. As an example, we see more and more that active cleaning becomes a must. And finally, we need to prepare the future of WideEye by exploring new technical skills and support the business ambition to position ourselves on the system level offering. In brief, 2022 is definitely not the time to reduce our development efforts. Thank you, Yannick. You're welcome, Katia.